Father. I praise you this morning. For Lord, where would I be? Where would we be? Yes. Without you, Lord. Lord, we depend on you daily. <clears throat> As our feet hit the floor in the morning. We depend on you, Lord, when we lay our heads down on the pillow and speak softly to you, Lord, to watch over us. Hello, and welcome to Good Samaritan Missionary Baptist Church of Garner. The order of our program will be announcements, musical interlude, then the message. Now here are the news and notes you need to know. Greetings, brothers and sisters in Christ, to all of the Good Samaritan family and our friends who join us and support this platform. I've got some new and exciting news for you. We are going to start a Sunday live Zoom altar call each Sunday starting March the 18th at 9 a.m. We will go live altar call on Zoom. I know you are accustomed to altar call on Wednesday, but we're moving from the recorded Wednesday altar call to a live Zoom recorded altar call beginning Sunday, March the 18th at 9 a.m. So you will be receiving the link and each Sunday morning at 9, we look for you to join in our live Zoom altar call. Pray for us. We look to see you there. I want all of the people who are my age to enjoy their golden years. I've got great grandchildren out there I haven't seen, and I'm looking. It is your turn. Call your local health department or your family physician. Arrange for your spot for your COVID shot. What you do to keep yourself healthy helps keep your neighbor, your friends, your relatives helps to keep them healthy too. I'm excited, uh, relieved, uh, and grateful. And taking the shot is what's best. Lord, you know that I'm your child and I'm doing the best that I can while my way get so dark you know i just don't seem to understand oh lord i need you to hold my hand i can't make it by myself lord i need you to hold my hand as i travel from place to place many times i'm treated so bad then i sit and think about I can't miss a friend that I never had oh Lord I need you to hold my hand right now right now right now right now oh Lord I need you to hold my hand one more thing listen church I'm gonna continue to run for Jesus even if I have to run along because it's my determination to make God's beautiful heaven my home. Oh, Lord, I need you to hold my hand. I can't make it by myself. Oh, Lord, I need you to hold my hand. One thing, baby, hold me, Jesus. Hold me, Jesus. Hold me. Jesus, the reason why I want you to hold me. If you don't hold me, I will surely fall. If you don't hold me, I know I fall. If you don't hold me, I surely fall. Somebody needs you to be a doctor. Somebody needs you to be a lawyer. Somebody needs you to be a friend. Somebody needs you. To be a father, a father, father, fatherless, father, father, fatherless. Somebody needs you to be water, water when I'm thirsty. Somebody needs you to be a shelter. 
Somebody needs you all over. Oh, 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 I need you to hold my hand right now, right now, right now, right now. Oh, Lord, I need you to hold my hand. Good morning and God bless you. In the name of the Lord, we greet you into our sanctuary for this morning's message. And though Resurrection Sunday has passed, we are still in the spirit of the resurrection. This morning, I want to draw your attention to a passage of Scripture in the book of Acts, chapter 1. Beginning at verse 1, we find these words as recorded in the New King James Version. The former account I made, O Theopolis, of all that Jesus began both to do and teach until the day in which he was taken up after he through the Holy Spirit, had given commandments to the apostles whom he had chosen, to whom he also presented himself alive after his suffering by many infallible proofs, being seen by them during 40 days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. Amen. I want to share this topic with you this morning as we are in our post-resurrection attitude. Just hanging around. Just hanging around. When I read the scriptures, I am amazed with the number of appearances that Jesus made to his disciples before his final ascension to the Father in heaven. It then raises questions to me as to why, if he had finished the work that his father had prepared for him to do, if he had finished and completed his work down here on earth, why did Jesus just hang around for so long? His mission of preaching the good news was completed. He had completed the work of showing God's love to mankind. He released those who were held captive by religious legalism. He brought sight to those who never had it. And he restored sight to those who lost it. He had set the oppressed free, he liberated the minds of those who were morally bankrupt, and he declared the acceptable year of the Lord. He healed the sick and raised the dead and cast out demons. His work was now done. He made the ultimate sacrifice in the end, presenting himself and allowing himself to be misused, to be abused, to be crucified on an old rugged cross that we might receive eternal life. And he declared at the very end, it is finished. Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. The resurrection work is done, so why? I just want to know why. Is Jesus just hanging around? We're used to folks just hanging around because they don't have anything to do. But Jesus just hanging around was different. I would expect in my own mind that following the resurrection that he declared that he had all power in his hand. He declared victory over death, hell, and the grave. And after the triumph over life's final enemy, death. Victory over the inescapable prison that we all must face one day, death. After finishing the work of redemption, he had done all that was assigned to his hands to do. I would suspect that he would immediately ascend back to his father. It just seems logical to me that after his work down here was done, that he would ascend, return, go back 
to his father in heaven, away from the world's fickle and sinful minded people and the humans for which he just died didn't even appreciate it. It just seems logical to me to return to the place of joy, of love, of peace in heaven above. Brothers and sisters, I have discovered that there is a good reason, a good reason why Jesus just kept hanging around. You, you heard the text for, for 40 days. He made himself visible for 40 days with infallible proofs. He showed them that he was alive and well. The text revealed that to us, but, but I suggest to you this morning that he had us on his mind. That's why Jesus kept hanging around. One reason he wasn't in a hurry to return and go back to his father in heaven, because we notice in the scriptures that, that it said that in, in 1 Corinthians 15, in 5 through 8, that he, he showed himself to Peter infallible proof, and then the 12. And after that, he was seen by more than 500 followers at one time. He's just hanging around. Uh, he showed himself to James and then the other apostles. And Paul says, last of all, he showed himself to me. That's a lot of hanging around. After the resurrection and before the final ascension, over 40 days period, 40 days span of time, he's still in their presence, hanging around. Do you know anyone that just hangs around? He appeared, he showed himself to Cephas, to Peter, then to the others, just hanging around. Yeah, before going back to the Father in heaven. I submit to you in my small mind, in my terrain way of thinking that Jesus just hung around long enough to prove to us, to prove to believers, amen, that he was still in our presence, that he was still alive and well, hung around long enough to prove to us that he did have the victory. First, let me say that Jesus wanted to restore faith. That's a good place to start right there. Before he ascended into heaven. Uh, you remember how Peter boasted. You remember how Peter spoke out of term that he would do what nobody else would do for Jesus. But when, when the rubber meets the road, Peter could not be found. And then he tried to, he, Jesus tried to, uh, remind Peter that, Peter, I want you to know that I'm praying for you, that I don't want your faith to fail. It was Peter who said, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. It was all so Peter who declared to him that in his hour of need, I will be with you. So when Jesus appeared to Peter, that rock, in that crucial hour, he was hanging around long enough to restore Peter's faith. It was Peter who declared in that crowd outside of Pilate's yard that I do not know him. So Jesus hung around long enough with infallible proofs to show us and to encourage us even in the midst of our uncertainties, in our weaknesses, we sometimes stumble. But Jesus was hanging around. When we fall in this world, we can get up because Jesus is hanging around to restore us, to renew us, and to refresh us. He just kept hanging around. He, he kept hanging around, secondly, to encourage us. You remember there were many who were saying that grave robbers had taken the body. There were some who when they went to the tomb and he was not there, they did not know what to do. They went to the tomb expecting to see him. So he kept hanging around after his resurrection to 
encourage us and to show us that he is still alive and well. He encouraged the ten disciples when they were in the upper room and Thomas was not there. Thomas said, I won't believe unless I can see for myself. And there and then Jesus showed up. See, when he's hanging around, he's where he needs to be just in the nick of time. He made an appearance to all of the disciples. He appeared to them and he encouraged them and he satisfied all of their doubts. I remember the Lord declaring, Lo, I'm with you always, even until the end of the world. In the hour of distress and dismay, we can be sure that Jesus is always around. We can be sure, we can be encouraged, amen, that he's always in our midst. We don't have to act like Thomas on Jesus and say, I won't believe unless I see. He's always in our presence. Jesus is then hanging around, lastly, to convince the masses. Hanging around, he appeared to the 500 believers at one time, and these represent the church, the body of Christ. These include the called out ones. In Christ, they are on, they are privileged individuals because he appeared unto them, to the poorest and to the riches of men and women, to the healthy and the disabled, appearing to the masses of people. He is there to strengthen the weak. He is there to restore the doubt of those who are not certain and to anoint us anew. He's always hanging around. And when the well-being of life of the church hangs in the balances, we can know that Jesus is always hanging around. But when he hangs around, lastly, he assures us that we have infallible proof and he assures us that there's always a witness when we can recognize and we, we can know that he is still in our midst. He hung around long enough just to tell us that he is alive and well. Every time he hangs around, there ought to be somebody who becomes a witness and I believe in my heart of hearts that he's hanging around, when he hangs around, that he establishes a witness. And I wonder for just a few moments this morning as I speak to you through this medium here, does anybody know that Jesus is still hanging around? Does anybody know from experience that he is still in our midst. I just wonder, can I get a witness from somebody that knows if you call him, he will be there. I wonder from somebody who's listening this morning, someone among the viewership this morning will know that Jesus is only a prayer away. Is there anybody that knows, is there anybody that's willing to confess and be a witness that Jesus is in our midst. I don't know how you feel about it, but my soul is glad this morning that Jesus is always hanging around. That wherever I am and whatever befalls me, I know that my help is always near. You can call him in the morning and you can call him at midnight. You can call him whenever you need him. He's always hanging around and has given us infallible proofs. This is why Luke wrote this. This is why Luke picked up on this, so that we might know that he is still in our midst. And he hung around to encourage us. He hung around so that we might become a witness. He hung around to, to, to persuade us to keep trusting in God. If you don't know the Lord and your pardon of your sins, if you have not confessed them, he's in your presence right now. Perhaps you've fallen by the wayside. He's only a prayer away. Give your hand 
give your heart to the Lord. In that day that you hear his voice, don't harden your heart. Behold, he stands at the door and knock. You can reach us through our email. Remember, Jesus is just hanging around and he's waiting for you. God bless you this morning and may heaven. If you're interested in learning more about the saving grace of Jesus Christ or affiliating with this church, please contact us at the email address on the screen.